Hey Math 8, today we're going to be talking about uh, slope and uh, particularly um, positive, negative, or zero slopes. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing that I like to do when I'm talking about slope is to uh, create the Mr. Slope Man, I call him. And it kind of helps us determine uh, the types of slope that we're dealing with. So if it's a positive slope, okay, the line goes up, okay. If it's a negative slope, the line goes down. It's that straight up and down. They call that an undefined line. You won't need to know that one for your SOL. But if it's a uh, zero, the line is flat, okay. So it kind of makes the face of a man. The plus comes first, and the negative, um, and whatnot. So right off to the side, a positive line goes up, could be a bunch of dots if you're thinking of a scatter plot. A negative line from left to right will go down, or dots going down if you're thinking of a scatter plot. And zero is just a flat line, okay? There's no uh, increase, there's no slope. So our first task is to identify the slope is positive, negative, or zero. So since it's going upward, okay? You look at Mr. Slope Man, this slope is positive. This slope is going up and down, very much like that line, so it would be undefined. And this line goes downhill, very much like the minus, downhill, so this is a negative slope. Now, you'll also be given a uh, slope and um, basically, hold on, let me move this out of the way here. You'll also be given uh, equations for slope, and you'll have to determine by looking at that what the slope of the line is and what the y-intercept is, okay? So when you're looking at a line, whatever's in front of the x, okay, let's say y equals m, that's a number, and that stands, that's your slope, x plus b, which is another number, and that's your y-intercept. And you'll keep a mind of whether the sign's positive or negative, okay? So slope is whatever's in front of x, y-intercept is whatever's b, okay? So our slope in this case is 3, our y-intercept is 4. Our slope for number 2 is negative 1 divided by 4. And our y-intercept is 3. Our slope for number 3, what's in front of the x is 9, so 9. And our y-intercept is negative 1. For number 4, there's no number that you see here, but you always assume that when they don't put a number, there's a 1, okay? So this is 1, and our y-intercept is also 1. Here, again, there's no number there. There's a minus. I'm going to put a 1. So it's a slope that is negative 1. There's no number here, so you say the y-intercept is 0. Okay. When you don't have a number, you represent that with a 0. And likewise, again, there's no number here, so I put a 1 there. Slope is 1, our y intercept is 8, positive 8. So, how do we find the y intercept and the slope when given a table? Okay. So, when you want to know what the y intercept is, it's going to have a matching 0. So, negative 11 is the y intercept because the 0, okay, matches that. That's a negative 11. Likewise, uh, to find the slope, you see how many is from here to here. And so to go from negative 11 to negative 6, that's plus 5. So you put the 5 on the top. And from x, 1x to the other, it's only 1. So 5 over 1, which is 5. So your slope is 5. These do not often appear on the SOL, 
but I do want us to review them <coughs> so that you are exposed to them, okay? So the change in Y goes on the top over the change in X on the bottom, okay? So let's look at this table. Oh, these flies. The y-intercept is wherever uh, the x is 0. So right here, the y-intercept is negative 2. That means that this, the graph is going to cross the y-axis at negative 2. Okay, Put a dot there and the graph will cross at negative 2. For this one, the y-intercept was negative 11. So we'd go all the way down on the graph down here somewhere to negative 11, and that's where the line would cross the graph. That's what they mean by y-intercept, okay? And let's look at our change in y. So remember, it's a change in y over our change in x. And that's our slope. So to go from here to here, we have to add 1. So it's 1. Oh, there's a fly on my face. And to go from here to here, you have to add 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So our slope is 1 half, okay? The slope, that should be an easy. Slope is 1 half, okay? So if you were to write this as a line, it would be y equals negative 11. Uh, nope. Our slope is 5. y equals 5x, and our y intercepts minus 11. If you were to write this as a line, I have enough room here, there we go, it would be y equals, our slope is 1 half, 1 half x, and then minus 2. That would be how you would write that as a line. Okay. Let's look at the back now. Okay. So now we have to identify the slope, and we'll also identify the y-intercept. So I'll write plus y-intercept through this graph, okay? Identify the slope and y-intercept by looking at a graph. Okay, your slope from a graph, they call that rise over run. And you have to keep in mind, Mr. Slope Man, as to whether you need to put a negative or a positive in front of the, the digits there. So we're going to look at how many, from one point to another point on the graph, how many you have to go rise or go up and then over. So you can pick any two points, you just have to simplify. I'm going to pick this point here, and I'll pick this point here. You could have picked one up here, we're not. It's all right. So I have to rise to, and then go over to. So my slope is rise over run, and I rise by 2, and I ran or went over 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. So my slope is 1, and my y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, so that's 1, 2, right there, 3. So my y-intercept is 3. So the equation would be y equals 1x plus 3. Okay, let's look at the second line. And this is going to be a negative slope. I know that right off the bat because of Mr. Slope Man. Okay, so our slope, again, it's rise over run. Let's go ahead and look. I'll pick two points. I'll pick this point here. And this point here. Okay. I go up to and I go over to. Which equals one, but because the line's going downhill, it's negative, okay? Negative one. My y intercept is still three. Okay. So I do y equals negative 1x plus 3. They might just write y equals negative x, okay? 
right here to prove that you are indeed following along in the vid video, I want you to put a smiley face between those two graphs, like right over here. Okay, looking at our third graph, I'm going to pick two more points. I'll pick this point here and that point there. So how many do I have to go up? I go up one, two, three, four, five. So I, on my slope, I go up five and over one. Okay. I'm going up five, over one, and that means it's five. And the line is going upward, so it's positive. It's five. Now my y-intercept happens to be right there at, at 1, 2. So 2 is my y-intercept, which means my line will be y equals 5x plus 2. Looking at this line here, I'll pick these two points. And again, Mr. Slope Man, the line is going downhill, so my slope will be negative. But I'm going up 3, so for my slope, it's 3 over, then I go over 3, so 3 over 3, which is 1, but it's negative, remember, because it's going downhill. So the, this fly is really trying to get me. Okay, and here, the intercept is 1, 2, is negative 3, okay, the y-intercept is negative 3. So this line will be y equals, what's in front of the x? It's going to be the slope. So negative, I'm not going to put the 1 there this time, just to spice it up. And, uh, and the y-intercept, the slope is negative 1, the y-intercept is minus 3. Okay. Let's look at our second example. I'll pick this point here and that point there. These are a lot of the same slope, fortunately, for you all. I go up 1 and over 1. So slope is 1 over 1. It's a positive line. So it's 1. My y-intercept is down 1, 2, 3. This fly. So the line is y equals x. I could put a 1 there. I'm not going to. Minus 3. So these lines look similar, but one's negative and one's positive. Last, but this fly. Okay, I'm going to go from uh, this point here to this point here, okay? So my slope, remember slope man, this is a negative line, okay? Now for this one, put a star there so I know you're watching. But I go up one. slope. That says slope. Oh gosh, I go up one and over five. Up one over five and it's negative because it's going downhill. So negative one over five and my y-intercept is a positive two. So my line is y equals negative one over five x plus two. Now if you're graphing Let's go ahead and graph. Our y-intercept is going to be at 3, so I'm going to put a dot on the 3. Okay, And then, since my slope is 1, if you have a solid number, it's always 1 over 1. Okay, Or if it was a 2, it would be 2 over 1. So I go, and it's going to be positive, okay? Because it's a positive slope. So I go up 1, over 1, plot a point. Up 1, over 1, plot a point. I could also go down one over one plot a point, just so long as it's in a positive direction. Okay? I could keep going, you know, keep plotting if I wanted to. Here, my y-intercept is zero, meaning the line's going to cross at the zero. It's negative, so the line goes downhill. So I go down one and over two. Down one over two, plot a point down 1 over 2, plot a point, or up 1 over 2 and plot a point, and just connect the points. Okay. Now, just a scatter plot review. If the dots are all positive, going upwards, it's positive. 
or downward it's negative or it could be nothing.